Good morning, dear friends. It's Wellness Wednesday. I hope you are well wherever you are and um, life in ISO is treating you kindly and uh, you feel somewhat um, in control of your day today. And there's a few things I wanted to share today on this Wellness Wednesday. And the first is some reflections I had on the weekend. I went for a run on Monday afternoon and I was running along and there was a lot of people actually on this particular path and um, it struck me that over the weekend we all had nowhere to go and nowhere to be, no holidays to plan, no rushing around to be done and we were all just being in the, in the moment and we were all just being where we were and we had really almost in a way the brakes were on and we'd taken our foot off the gas and we were allowing ourselves just to spend time. And, you know, I had a message with my my sister-in-law and we both agreed that it was nice not to have to be anywhere over the weekend, you know, just to do the things we chose to do when we chose to do them, i.e. pottering about the house, going for a bike ride, you know, going for a walk. And, and you know, often what we do is we fill up every spare minute of our time and particularly our long weekends with um, holidays. So we are, you know, rushing around over Easter, going to visit friends or family or going on camping trips. And then you come back on Monday, still tired from having your weekend away and have a big mess to clean up. And really what I thought was actually, wouldn't it be interesting if there was um, mandatory um, lockdown periods every year for four to six weeks where everyone had to take a mandatory lockdown period and they just stopped what they were doing and they had to live in their natural environment with the world around them and, and make the most of it. And, you know, a lot of us might, um, hi, Ephraim, I hope you're well. They might, um, um, a lot of anxiety that we feel through this constant rushing and waiting and having to be places, you know, might be curtailed. And, you know, the stress epidemic that we all live with today could somewhat be curtailed if we had um, enforced lockdown periods regularly. But obviously, I'm not making too light of lockdown because I know it's not easy for many, many people. And in Australia, and particularly in North Queensland, where I live, we're quite fortunate at the moment that we are, we still have rules to follow. But we have quite a lot of natural environment on our doorstep and we have space to walk around and to be to be ha happy and to spend time outdoors in nature. And I confess that for me as well, I've been going through an emotional roller coaster the last few weeks as I had, you know, the kids at home with me quite intensely and I was um, working and juggling their needs as well. And I know that's common for a lot of parents at the moment. And I think Regardless of how Zen-like and Buddha-like you are on a daily basis, we all do have emotional roller coasters. And, you know, being a parent is a particular uh, form of emotional roller coaster on its own. And then um, having a job and writing a book is a massive emotional roller coaster. And I found myself yesterday actually feeling quite emotional. And... One thing I've started this week to try and help other mums, you know, with their emotional roller coaster and to bring some more mindfulness and calms to women in similar position to me is each morning at 7.15, I've been doing a, a live broadcast called um, Positive Daily Zoom Boom, which is a virtual fist bump to all mums out there. There's six minutes of focused content on mindfulness and how you can approach that um, in your day and then a calming meditation to kind of get you into that zen-like frame of mind and then also some hint, hints and tips and tools and hacks that you can go back to then throughout the day as you notice this um, frustration um, or any kind of um, drain within you rising up. So that's really something that I've initiated this week. It's going well. Um, so there's the live Zooms at 7.15 Queensland time in the morning and then I post the audio to my SoundCloud account. So I'm going to put today's audio recording in the comments in this Zoom um, live. So maybe you can also listen to it later because not just for mums, but daddies might enjoy it too. And if you're not a mum or a dad, then listen anyway. You might learn something. So um, today I focused on doing versus being, which was a little bit about my reflections of the weekend. When we're in doing mode, we spend a lot of time doing and thinking and planning and, and rushing and ruminating. But when we're in being mode, we're much more focused on 
um, our body and um, breath awareness and we have greater sense of um, control over what's going on because we're not stressing and we're not living in this constant state of forward thinking and planning. Now it's important to have the two in life because we need to think and we need to plan and we need to create but actually a lot of um, true creativity comes from just being in the moment. And when I am struggling, when I'm struggling to make sense of my emotions and my frustrations and my thoughts, I turn to my journal and I write down what I'm thinking and it might start with a doodle as in like a scribble and leads for me to, um, it leads me on to being able to communicate what's inside that I can't articulate in my head or inside my heart. And then generally it will also lead to a poem. So. I was thinking a lot about the analogy of an emotional roller coaster yesterday and today as well, thinking about how it doesn't matter how again centered and and you know let's say calm you are, um, we all have this emotional roller coaster and it, it's really dependent on how high our highs are and how low our lows are as to how you know zippy and flippy your emotional roller coaster is on any given day. And obviously, mine has become a lot less um, uh, highs and a lot less lows after I've been focusing focusing on my mental, um, physical, and spiritual health. But again, you know, there's still days when um, it's normal to have emotional roller coasters. So I wanted to make sense of my own emotional roller coaster, and in doing so, I penned a little poem, which I will share with you now called Emotional Roller Coaster, and I'm sure you can relate to that. Strap in, hold tight, nothing you say will make it right. I'm falling, I'm flipping, I'm tripping, I'm gripping. I can't seem to catch my footing as I'm spiraling down. My stomach is churning, my knuckles are burning, I'm crashing down. But wait, I'm on the up. It's slow and jerky, but I'm moving again. This feels comfortable. I might be in my groove again. Oh yes, that's it. I'm at the top of my track. I can sense the top and I know there's a drop. But now I know every bend and every turn. A sense of exhilaration has just returned. When in flow, I know I love this ride. When I get stuck, it sucks. I want to hide. My roller coaster is a constant source of amusement and fear, a jaw dropping, spine tingling, ever changing frontier. Yesterday was fast, today was slow. I have no idea how tomorrow will go. But this ride is free, so I keep coming back. It's my emotional roller coaster that I'm learning to hack. So that's my poem. Emotional roller coaster. I'll also share it in the comments below. I hope you like it. It helped me make sense of how I was feeling yesterday, and my ups and downs, and my twists and bends, and really just to articulate how I'm feeling. So I encourage you to write down if you're struggling with your emotional roller coaster at the moment, you might be able to make sense of it by writing it down. So that's my Wellness Wednesday Live. Thank you so much for joining me. And um, I hope you get to enjoy the um, Zoom Boom, which is 15 minutes on SoundCloud today. And if you know a mum or you are a mum or you have a mum, then maybe she would like to join as well. Thank you so much and take care. I'm wishing you well, health and happiness. Okay, bye.